Hello all, welcome back to DG360, a nice sunny day here on Alioth as we go over the changes that just happened on the recent update. You're probably wondering what in the F just happened, how do I uh, get my machines to run, especially if you're a real big time industrial dude. And uh, we're going to go over that today, and uh, we're going to do it very simplistically so that you guys can understand how to how to get the factory running again. <laughs> when I logged in, I, I got to say, at first I was kind of upset, but I'm going to talk about why I think the changes are actually a good thing after I show you what you need to do. Now, first off, skill points or talent points. Going to talent points, we can see here uh, that they basically, what Nova Cork did was shove all your talent points over to the left, and now you have to apply them again, which, you know, is tedious. It can be cumbersome, but it might not be such a bad thing. If you take the time to really, you know, look at your talents, perhaps there's some talents you don't really need anymore. And you can use those points to apply towards more, you know, uh, relevant areas for you now. For instance, I was heavy into mining. I might I might take some of those talent points that were that I did with mining now, now that I buy a lot of my ore and minerals for the market. And maybe I might not use those talent points for mining an inventory anymore. Or inventory, I will, but not mining so much. We want to make sure that we're looking at the basic ore refining and basic pure productivity in the crafting tab. All right. And these give you like higher uh, mineral outputs, uh, yields. So let's look at a refiner here. You can see that it has a new section called schematic uh, selection and a schematic uh, bank. Now, here is a container uh, of schematics. This whole new item here. Um, it's, it's, populated by Nova Cork. You can find them anywhere, every market around you. And the basic tier one stuff's like 75,000. And then they move up 200,000. There's 400,000. There's 1 million, depending upon how specific you got want to get what you want to create. But let's start at the very beginning. Let's start with the refiners. Let's start with the ore. Let's get the ore turned in minerals. And um, what you can see here is let's let's take aluminum for instance. We'll take a, an aluminum schematic and we'll pop it in the schematic bank here. Where's where's our aluminum at? Uh, burp, 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 burp. There we go. So you just pop it in, and you can pop in you know other schematics as well. Here's a calcium, a, a carbon. You know you want a machine to do multiple, uh, which I eventually do, but I you know I couldn't afford. It. I spent twelve million, and I only have a quarter of my machines covered with schematics now. In production so you can see I mean like I got quite a bit if I wanted every single ore and every single uh, refiner like I used to have boy it's gonna cost me a pretty penny and I'll get into why I think that's actually a good thing but look let's look at this again we'll just use this for an example put the pure aluminum in the um, schematic bank in your refiner all right and you go to production now um, let's let oh sorry schematic selection so let's go to aluminum we want to um, uh, get aluminum from our bauxite, so we want to refine it. Now you'll notice your 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 output is is very low again. So that's where these talents come into play, and we'll notice this number change quite dramatically as we scale up here. So like we'll start the machine, and you can see we're only getting 315 uh, liters from 455. No way, no way, no way. So let's let's get into the talents. And let's go uh, with our aluminum ore refining, and I'll show you how that bumps up here. So we want to uh, queue all required. Boom. So we got to have a basic refining efficiency before we can get that. Let's apply out those uh, points. Train talent. We'll confirm that. Okay, there we go. We have trained it. Now we can uh, get aluminum ore refining. Boom. Train talent. We'll confirm that. And now I want to show you what that did. So... These, these focus on the refining. Every machine has their own respective skills, and you guys will be able to find them. Don't worry. You know, it's just a little detective work. And uh, But let's just start with the basics. <laughs> now if we refine, we go from 455. Now it shows 315 is the standard preset. When we push start, what we'll see is now it's not 455 anymore. It's 441. Okay? So we went down quite a bit. We went down a little over, uh, well, we could do uh, a little over, yeah, like 14 liters by that one level, which is great. Now, the next thing that we can do for talents to bump up our yield on our minerals is uh, we can go to basic pure productivity. So let's look at pure aluminum uh, productivity and let's see what happens on this end of this tree here. Let's go train. We'll confirm it. There we go. Um, and, you know, before this change, I had everything maxed out, I think, around 4 and 5. So uh, we definitely want to get that up before you start production again. You definitely want to get those yields up. So let's push now. Uh, 441, and now we're getting 324. Aha! 
So let's let's really push it to the max here, okay? And then then I'm gonna show you a couple other things. Uh, and again, you can find these schematics if you go on the market. You literally type schematic, and uh, you can get, you guys can see this just like boom, it's thousands and thousands of schematics. What they also did that that I should have mentioned a little bit earlier is refineries. They have many different levels of refineries now. Refiner M deals with uh, the tier one and tier two ores, advanced refiners, um, uh, rare refiners, uh, uncommon refiners. There's there's a lot of different refiners for each different tier of ore. And this skill that deals with unlocking the different refiners for the different tiers of ore, uh, I believe, my apologies here, but you can go to, let's see, is it down in here? No, let's see. I th think it's industry, and it's revi it's refiner proficiency. So I'm I've unlocked the first two tiers. I believe this is it. Now this is you know, I've talked with support, and this is what I have been told to be able to you know you got you got higher tier ore. You're not on Alioth Lake Mini. You, you, you got like tier three, tier four, tier five, uh, or then you're gonna want to unlock these levels. Okay. So that's something to to make a note of as well. Let's get back into crafting though. Let's get into our ores and let's really max out our aluminum here. Let's just really go ham. We're gonna confirm. We're gonna confirm. We're gonna confirm. And we're gonna confirm. And then we're gonna do the same thing with our um, pure aluminum productivity. And let's really see what our max value is what our yield is by just pumping this up all the way and you know if you're relatively new you're not able to do this unfortunately you'll have to wait around and you'll have to you know, skill it the old-fashioned way um, and I, I apologize for that but that's just the way the game goes uh, I've got a store of talent points that I can use <laughs> but let's get let's get into it and now let's let's run a batch here now that we're all maxed out okay that's much better so 386 liters of ore is going in. I'm getting 362 out, which is much better than the 400 plus and the 311 I think I was getting before. So we, we've really upped the productivity, and that's that's wonderful. I love it. I don't even think right now uh, that this is something that, that is for the novice at this point. And um, I'm going to get into, like, really, I think... One of the really good reasons why I like schematics being introduced into dual universe is that people that are really not into crafting are probably just not going to deal with the amount of hassle and time that this causes, which creates an opportunity for people who craft and creates a, a higher level of value towards the things that you're crafting. Um, you're going to see less supply being put on the market uh, for certain items because, hey, somebody didn't want to take out the time to buy a schematic. Uh, and, and we can look at the prices of aluminum. And uh, let's look at the prices of aluminum just to see. It's going to take months for the prices to level out in the market. Really, it will. Ugh. They spell it different. Aluminium is how they spell it. Maybe maybe I spell it wrong. <laughs> there we go. And um, so what we can see here is got prices all over the board what's going on with aluminum here what is this oh my goodness look at the prices have just literally uh skyrocket on minerals right now they're they're oh no okay i'm looking at quantities apologies i'm like what the hell <laughs> i was looking at quiet i'm like there's no way that this is this is happening okay so we're we're right around here we go people are starting to introduce their minerals to the market we're at 2022 24 25 so roughly around 20 to 25 per unit right now that people are selling them at uh people are putting their orders back on the market very slow process if you're if you're new this is a great time to get in get things at a, at a cheap value for low buy points 
And uh, I highly recommend getting involved in crafting in the marketplace. And don't be scared. Dip a toe in. Uh, if you're frustrated that the, of these changes and how this happened, I, I think this is a great time to. This is a great opportunity to get to get in. Don't let it frustrate you. Get the schematics. Slowly build back up. Get your industry back up to par. Uh, each machine will have a different uh, set. You know, like you're usually not able to even get into the machine and work it if you don't have the schematic. This is the error message that you get. When you push start, it says missing schematic. So you buy your basic reinforced frame L schematic. You go to the market. Let's let's you know for this machine. Let's see what it will cost. Basic reinforced uh, frame schematic uh, L. Right. So boom, that one's 800k. Ouch! Ouch! Just so happens, I have one in the uh, in my container here, and uh, we can. We can then, oh, am I too distanced away? Ah, that's funny. That's funny. I can't put it in because I'm too distanced away because I got to skill up. Uh, I have to skill up. Oh, there we go. There we go. It was just a bug. So let's see here. Basic uh, reinforced uh, frame L schematic. There we go. Boom. See? Plug it in. There it is. Now we can make one. Oh, but except I'm missing the input components. And that's a whole nother video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope this helped you out. I hope this gave you clues to what you need to do in order to, um, you know, produce again. And um, like I said, it's not a bad thing. You know, it's it's basically like a paywall of sorts or something that's taking out unnecessary crafters, people that aren't interested really in crafting, but craft a shit ton and they produce and they produce. And what that does is create this over excessive amount of supply, drives prices down below the cost. And, you know, really at the end of the day, it makes things much more difficult for traders and for crafters to have legitimacy to pricing. So the schematics really, I think a good thing, a lot of extra work, a lot of extra work. A lot of extra money. I was talking to people in support saying they spent like a hundred plus million on their on their manufacturing that they have. And as you can see here, uh, inside my own personal building, you know, I've got quite a bit of manufacturing going on myself here. There's, uh, I basically had two levels down below. Here's a whole nother level. So you can only imagine this is going to cost me. This is probably going to cost me around a hundred million to uh, to get back up and running. But you know, like I had quite the production. Uh, in my uh, my tower here that you know is a phallic symbol uh, screaming that I have a tiny penis and and that's why this building just keeps going up and up and up to 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 give me back what it is that I lost uh, which is my manhood and uh, I hope this <laughs> I hope this video helped you guys out and I will see you on the next vid or stream. DG360 is brought to you by our amazing patrons and YouTube membership. Become one today and get full access to monthly giveaways, the exclusive DG360 podcast, members only posts, IRO vlogs, badges, emoticons, VIP Discord chat, and so, so much, much more. more. How much more? Every single member of this community is awesome. They're like family. In fact, I'm going over to their house for dinner tonight.